So the question could be that what's IoT got to do with chai, right? Uh, see, fundamentally, in an office, hot beverages, chai and coffee are like a utility now. You walk into any office, if you're an employee there, uh, and you're going about your work, or you have visitors for a meeting, if you don't have chai and coffee, that just doesn't set the tone. Right. So you need to have chai and coffee and it needs to be of a consistent high quality and needs to be available. So it's like a utility in several ways. Right. Now, when you have something which is in some ways similar to a utility, you need to give the customer the assurance of availability and uptime. How do you ensure that every pantry, every floor, every office has a dispenser for chai or for coffee which is working and on, especially during the working hours? Right? And if it goes down, how soon do you get it fixed? You can't have a pantry functioning without a workable dispenser for days. That will, that will be chaotic. You know, a lot of people will be upset if that's the case. So you have to build an intelligence into the machine where from a repair and maintenance standpoint, you get to know when something has gone wrong in a dispenser and uh, specifically the part so that when somebody lands up to fix it, that person reaches there with a very targeted goal in mind that an X part of this Y type of dispenser has gone bad. That's one very important scenario where IoT you know, comes to play. Right? Second, beverage bills add up for companies. Right? So companies want to track the consumption and they want to have a very digital and auditable basis for checking as to what's the consumption that is happening in dispensers in their office right now that's where the iod part comes again you know the machine throws back data about its consumption the various type of beverages that are consumed through it if it's fresh chai if it's just milk if it's just water what type of chai or what type of filter coffee back to the cloud and all that information is aggregated and acts like a checking basis for the kind of bill or the invoice that is raised by us in this case to the customer so the customer gets a confidence that, hey, this is a machine which is emitting signals about its health and because of Chai Point service is enabling me to have a high uptime around beverage services for all my employees across all my facilities, number one. And number two, the kind of invoice or the bill that is generated by Chai Point is also backed by actual consumption patterns. So two very important scenarios which in a scaled out fashion right have a lot of a lot of meaning we already have close to thousand dispensers which are semi-automatic in nature and um, you know there is scope to deploy tens of thousand if not more of chai dispensers across the country unless and until we build this kind of intelligence into them it'll be next to impossible to really manage it effectively the other part which is less meaningful for the customer possibly but very very impactful for us is our supply chain management when you have so many dispensers installed ultimately we earn our money by supplying the consumables right how do we decide what kind of and what quantum of consumables to send to every customer right who has that dispenser installed from our side and they are spread all over how do we minimize the cost how do we give an exactly accurate supply of consumables consumables to the customer so imagine all these scenarios in a highly scaled out scenario which is what we are building ourselves towards and unless and until you have intelligent dispensers you just can't do business so rather than being something which is fancy or uh, you know sort of not so relevant it's just mission critical for us now